Let's learn about what are WebSockets. This technology is still under development, but it's already pretty solid to the point of being used in production. If we take the word strictly, we will see that these are sockets for the web. By definition, sockets are channels of communication between two different ends. We're going to use sockets for establishing a communication channel between our server and our client. That's the whole point of the exercise. The thing about sockets that distinguishes itself from regular requests is that these kinds of communication channels are continuous and bidirectional. What I mean by this is that a new channel is created in which information flows. The channel persists as long as the two ends are connected. Of course that if you close the browser or the server, then the WebSocket will terminate. If none of those conditions are met, then the WebSocket will remain active and you'll be able to send information back and forth between the server and the client. There's no need to have two separate channels, one for sending information from the client and the other one specifically for sending messages for the server. There's no need for that. WebSockets are bidirectional, as I've mentioned. Through the same channel, you can send messages from one end or the other. That's the whole point of WebSockets. We will create a small dialect that will allow us to relate information about auctions. We'll use it for real-time communication when bidding for an auction. Picture the scenario of an auction house. When you go to such a place, you will see many different bidders for many different auctions. So it's important that you keep track of one particular auction you're bidding to. At any point in time, you will want to know whether you have been outbid to a particular auction. So at that point in time, you want to perhaps raise your bid. We'll do that in real time, supported by this WebSockets technology. I hope you understood the basics of WebSockets. The main difference is it is a continuous channel, unlike regular web requests. In this normal situation, a request is sent to the server, which in turn provides a response, and that's it. The connection is terminated. With these WebSockets, we'll be able to maintain a continuous stream of information. With this set, let's jump right away with building our Rails application according to the specification.